Hey there, everybody. What's going on? This is Dr. Ophir Isaac coming at you from the Pain-Free Maverick Live. Tonight, the Pain-Free Maverick goes live again for the second time. This is super nerve-wracking. It's like public speaking, but I really enjoy teaching people about pain, and I bring you the pure truth about your pain. Tonight, coming at you from Brooklyn at my office, All Care Pain Elimination for Life. And today I want to tell you a quick story. Check this out. Alan, this is going out to you, Coach Al, with EQBC Boxing. This is an awesome story. So last night, Alan contacts me. This is a great story about the brand of physiotherapy. Alan contacts me last night in a panic, freaking out. Dr. Ophir, I I I'm so sorry to contact you. I don't know what to do. One of my main boxers, we're in Tennessee right now. And um, he's about to fight tomorrow, and he messed up his shoulder really, really bad. I don't know what to do about his shoulder. So I said, okay, tell me what's up. He's like, yo, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, how am I going to get him, how am I going to get him to fight? He's supposed to fight an elite boxer in his class. In his class, he's fighting an elite boxer in Tennessee. So anyway, so long story short, Alan asked me, what can I do for Deshaun? What can I do to help this young man so that he could box tomorrow in this fight? So he gets me on the horn with Deshaun. I, I, I speak with him for a couple of seconds and I say, Deshaun, tell me what it is you cannot do. What, what, cannot, what can't you do? He goes, I can't box. I can't punch with my arm. And you know, me feeling this guy's pain personally, empathizing with him because I know how it feels to be in pain. I know how it feels when I'm trying to train and I cannot lift that weight. So I said to him, Deshaun, I, I, I know I'm not there right now, so I can't treat you from remote control, but I can give you some advice, which is what, what really great consultants and advisors do, just like your accountant, your lawyer. We are advisors in, in helping people avoid medications, injections, and surgery. So Deshaun was going to go to the ER and spend, I don't know, 10 hours over there and figure out what's going on with his pain, I'm sure, right? or go find a, a local doctor in the middle of Tennessee, but he's got a fight tomorrow, so what he's gonna do? So anyway, so I get on the horn with him, we start text messaging back and forth, and, and, and I asked him one question, I said, what can't you do? He said, I can't hit the bag. Every time I hit the bag with my left shoulder, uh, I, I, and I make contact, my arm is killing me, it feels like a dead arm, it feels super sore, and I'm afraid, maybe it's a rotator cuff tear. And I, I know what you guys may be thinking if you have had shoulder pain before, right? You start thinking all these bad things are happening, right? Maybe you tore the muscle or maybe you, you need a shot, you need an MRI, you need an x-ray, you don't know what to do, how to handle it. So, I, you know, me being the pain-free maverick, right? I'm a maverick. So I said, this is it, man. I'm going to help you right now. I don't care that you're in Tennessee. I am going to help you. I did not charge him a dollar because I wanted this kid to fight. He was fighting this elite boxer. And I asked him a simple question. I said, Deshaun, can you lift your arm up over your head without it falling down? It's called a drop arm test. And this test is used by orthopedists, but you know, orthopedists will do x-rays and MRIs and other tests that may be not necessary. As long as he didn't have that and he didn't pop his shoulder out, I knew that he was okay, okay? So I asked him if he had any tingling in his hand. He did not. These muscles are the rotator cuff and we're looking at the back of the spine over here for all you shoulder, uh, for all you anatomists, physical therapists on there. Give me some thumbs up. Guys, give me some thumbs up if you're there. Please give me some thumbs up. Let me know that, uh, that you're with me. So anyway, I asked, I asked uh, Alan um, and Deshaun, Coach Al, I said, hey, what can we do about this? What can we do right now? So we gave him a couple of exercises to do. Hey, thanks a lot for the thumbs up. I just, I did not treat him through telehealth. I did not treat him through telehealth. Legally, I'm not allowed to do that because he's over there and I'm in New York. I'm licensed in New York. But what I did do is I gave him some advice. I basically went to my pain-free Maverick website at www.allcarept.com forward slash pain dash free dash Maverick. And I picked out two of my top exercises for shoulder impingement. And I literally told this gentleman, hey, if you feel like you wanna get better, you may wanna check out my videos. And that's all he did. He checked out my videos, and I'm not joking with you guys, in about 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so, I get a text back, and Alan tells me, and Coach Al tells me, oh my God, Deshaun feels awesome. What'd you do? I said, nothing, I just gave him some advice. I told him to stretch the neural system in his shoulder. And he said, well, I thought it was a soft tissue. I thought he tore something. I thought it was a muscular thing. 
Yes, it felt like a muscular thing, and I'm gonna keep repeating this to you guys out there. For all you people that still have that mindset that you need to get an x-ray or an MRI for every little thing, first and foremost, it's gonna cost you a lot of money, $300 at a minimum. If you had a fracture or a fall or a dislocation, I agree. Go get an MRI, go get an x-ray if that's what the orthopedics tells you to do. But you don't need to run for an x-ray, an MRI, or a shot every time something hurts you, okay? So, he had a problem with the neural system, okay? These, these nerves over here in the neck, these are called the brachial plexus nerves. These wires over here, this thing is so jacked up, it's like completely broken from so many years of seeing thousands and thousands of patients, but I still kept it. So anyway, guys, take a look. If you're interested in this, you're gonna learn something. If you've got shoulder problems, this is totally gonna help you out. So here are the nerves of the neck. It comes off the spinal cord. And these are the, if you can imagine, these are the bones of the spine over here in the back, okay? Right over here in the back of the neck. And basically, what this boxer did to himself is everything that you may have done to yourself as well. Basically, if you've injured your shoulder, you have an impingement. He basically threw his shoulder out, boxing so many, so hard and for so many hours that he ended up pulling the nerves in this area of the neck called the brachial plexus. I didn't have to see him to know that, okay? He, he tethered those nerves. So what happened is he ended up with shoulder, he ended up with shoulder pain, okay? As a secondary effect. Secondary means it's something that happened as a result of something else. It's a cause and effect. Unfortunately, most people out there, you may be one of those people who've had injuries or pain and you treat it with pills, right? You're treating the secondary effect. You're not treating the problem or the cause. You're, you're treating the effect. That's why you never get better. And, that's, and that leads to more doctor appointments, running around, freaking out that you're never gonna get better, stopping to exercise and lots of copays and lots of other things that you need to do to maintain your, uh, or what they call manage your pain. That's called pain management. Uh-uh, that's not what we do in physiotherapy. We help you eliminate your pain. It's totally cool, right? Recovery. So anyway, this boxer was able to recover from his uh, acute pain in his shoulder by doing two simple exercises. I'm gonna demonstrate right now. Two simple exercises. So I didn't even see him. I didn't know what happened to him. What I did know is that when he, I asked him on the phone, I said, can you lift your arm up with your thumb pointing down all the way up? And he was able to do that without pain before he, ha before he did my exercises. What he did tell me was when he lifted his arm laterally or outside called abduction, he was having pain and, and, and that was affecting him and he felt like he could not connect or impact with his fist. He felt it in the front of his shoulder. He told me there was no clicking. He had never dislocated his arm, so I knew there was nothing structural or bony going on. And he just probably really pulled his neck and shoulder out. So here it is, guys. I'm gonna show you what I did for him. It was that simple. It may not work for everyone, but because I've been doing this for 20 years and I really know uh, how to think through these things and problem solve, just like an attorney would problem solve when you're having a problem and you wanna solve that problem, an attorney will charge you for that time, or, a guy, or an advisor, like an accountant. Physiotherapists are advisors about the neuromusculoskeletal system. Hey, what's up, Ador? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? This is my boy, Ador. Just joined me here. Uh, give me, let me know you're there. He's from Men's Health Fitness Council. I'm a member of the Men's Health Fitness Council, and I stand to help trainers and work with trainers to get keep people in the gym so they don't keep running to doctors. They don't even need to run to physiotherapists all the time. They, they do if they're having a problem and trainers collaborate with us. So Adora is one of these top trainers. This guy is a real professional in New York City if anybody needs a trainer. Adora, thanks for jumping on tonight. So I wanna let you know guys, so what I did for this, this boxer who's gonna be a, a pro fighter, and I'm not a fighter guys, I was, I was a member of this boxing gym. I did it for a short period of time. I didn't really like getting hit in the face too much. I've done other martial arts and things like that, but I love movement. I understand movement. Nobody knows movement better than a physiotherapist. The doctor of physiotherapy spends their whole life studying the art of movement, and it's such a beautiful art. It's such an amazing art. People don't understand what we understand, and, um, and, and it really it has so much value. 
So guys, I want to let you know that it's such an amazing thing what happened with this guy, Day. Deshaun, um, he basically had this, he, he had this nasty shoulder impingement going on, secondary to uh, boxing too much. Anyway, I gave him this stretch. Let me show you what I did with Deshaun. So what I did was basically he could not internally rotate, he could not internally rotate his shoulder behind his back and he could not abduct or, or bring his shoulder up here. I cleared his neck. I asked him, can you look up? Once I knew he could look up, I knew that it wasn't coming from the neck itself, but he could not rotate to the same side so much and he could not abduct. So I knew it was coming from over here just by talking to him. I didn't need a fancy MRI or an X-ray that some doctor would have sent him to because they need to look inside of you, okay? So I told him to do this one stretch, okay? So if you're out there and you're having shoulder pain, you may wanna try this. It's at www.allcarept.com forward slash pain free maverick forward slash videos. And you can see some of my videos there. I told him to do the radial nerve stretch, which is right over here. So if you can see me, I'm doing this with, with my phone kind of today. I'm not holding my phone. I kind of strapped it on with some tape and, and, and mangled it onto my bicycle at my gym over here because I didn't know else how, how, how else to make it work. But it's pretty cool. It's working really nicely here. So basically, I gave him this thing called a radial nerve stretch. And you can see how I do it right here. So I'm giving you guys gold here. If you've got a patient or you're a trainer or you're a physiotherapist and you've got a client with shoulder impingement, instead of doing those old school resistive training exercises, why don't you try stretching the neural, uh, stretching out the nervous system as the primary cause, okay? So here it is. So basically, it's a depression or, or drop of the shoulder and internal rotation like you're tra trying to catch, hey, who's there? Oh, Ozzy, my man, what's up, Ozzy? Ozzy's a great guy. I met him in, in Florida. He's a fantastic guy. He's a PA, uh, a PA and medic. This guy is a professional. All these wonderful professionals are jumping on tonight. Whoever hates medications, giving patients pain medications for no reason, medicating America and wasting billions of dollars and causing chronic pain and depression, Raise your hands and give me a thumbs up because it's enough. We are wasting thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on wasted tests, injections, medications, and unwarranted surgeries. Thank you so much for that thumbs up. And people are, are really like sheep. They don't really understand the corruption in the system. Big Pharma is our enemy, big time. Doctors are our friends, but Big Pharma is giving doctors these tools and telling them use them quickly and don't you don't have a lot of time because you're not getting a lot of money from insurances so just dole out these drugs to patients and doctors are not trained in dealing thank you for the thumbs up doctors are not trained to deal with pain pain is the fifth vital sign it's not something they were trained to do in school it's not their fault and it's not your fault if you're a patient and you go to a doctor with trust that this doctor is going to help deal with your pain. They're gonna help you manage your pain and give you pills. So what we do as physiotherapists is we give specific exercises and touch you with our hands and help you loosen up the nervous system and get those nerves and muscles and joints to work as a team again and reboot the brain and tell the brain to turn off that pain signal. That's natural, natural stuff and it's not quackery, okay? This stuff is based on science. It's based on exercise physiology. This stuff has been proven in the literature. There's tons of studies out there and physiotherapy is going to basically eclipse a lot of these models once people understand what we do for a living. So anyway, so this boxer, I gave him this neuromobilization right here and that is basically like catching a ball behind your back. So do it with me. If you're having shoulder pain, it's super easy. I did it today at the gym. I was just at the gym. Basically catching a ball, depressing your shoulder down. That stretches the first rib over here and internally rotating your shoulder back like that. And I'll show you from the back. Basically, you're stretching out all the nerves of the posterior muscles of the shoulder that give power to the rotator cuff. Then the other exercise that I told them to do was this one over here. If you're with me, pay attention. It's a super easy do-it-yourself exercise. I knew that this area where the rib is, the first rib, and I'm going to show you right here. I just love to teach. I love to teach this stuff. Actually, I've never taught in a school, but I teach a lot of my uh, a, lot, a lot of the young uh, pre-physical therapy students how to do this stuff. Um, to, they really want to get into the field. Jackie was with me. She learned a lot of this stuff from me. So she can give me a thumbs up if she's there. 
And basically, you've got this first rib over here. The first rib is where the nerves kind of lay over, right? All these wires come over. So, and there's an attachment between the neck and the first rib. And those muscles, the anterior muscles of the neck, are called the scalenes. And those muscles get really, really, really taut because we're trying to use those muscles when we're boxing or moving, just like they did. And that pinched the nerves that come out into the shoulder. Very simple stuff. So what I did was I had him, the second exercise I had him do was to try to mobilize those scalene muscles to unlock the pressure on the nerve in the shoulder. And it was life changing. This boxer was able to crush it. I, I don't think he won the fight, but he went up against an elite boxer in his class. This guy is gonna be a world-class boxer. I'm proud to be able to help my friend Al and his team win this, uh, get into these fights and, and, and help these guys so they can function. I got another story for you before I sign off as the pain-free maverick tonight. This is an awesome story about telehealth. I bet you didn't know that physiotherapists, what we do, we can actually treat people remotely by using uh, phones like using FaceTime or other types of methodologies. A lot of doctors are starting to get into this now. So here's a second story, a lovely story about another patient of mine named Ari. And Ari is probably around my age, 42 years old. And he hits me up on a text message the other night. Also frantic. This guy is a, is a, a very important guy, a CFO. He works in a big company in a real estate firm. He sits all day. His neck is always flexed like that. And he puts a lot of pressure on his neck and on the nerves of these, again, we're going back to these peripheral nerves that come out of the neck, the scalene muscles. What happened with this guy, Ari? Guess, guess what again, guys? Same story. The doctors wanted to give him oxycontin, oxycodone for very severe upper trap pain. Why would you do that? That is the most addictive medication on the market. That is where you get, that's where people get addicted from. And then those pills, they go in the, in the cupboard where, you, where kids can find them and they go and use them for party drugs. Please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up if you're still with me out there. If I'm talking to myself, that's cool too because I'm going to end this very soon. But if you're out there and you believe Big Pharma is the enemy, uh, especially in the world of chronic pain, give me a thumbs up. Show me some love here. I'm doing this from the Pain-Free Maverick at All Care PT. Anyway, Ari came to me, severe pain in his in his shoulder and neck over here um, i gave him a really simple a really simple thank you for the thumbs up i appreciate it another thumbs up i gave him a really simple exercise to do if you're having neck pain and you've been told you need to take pills because you can't sleep at night because it's really killing you thank you william lucky thank you my man i appreciate it an old patient of mine gives me give me a thumbs up and coming here and patronizing me here on the pain-free maverick guys this is not easy for me to do okay i know i look like it's easy for me to get up here and start blabbing away and teaching you guys stuff on on facebook but i'm a real person just like you and public speaking is something people cannot stand to do and now i'm doing it and i'd rather do it in front of the crowd i don't even see you guys i don't even know you're there so it feels like i'm talking to myself in the mirror but anyway it, it, it brings me a lot of passion to do this and to step up for my profession. I'm proud to be a physiotherapist. I'm proud to help people avoid the big pharma. And I'm, I'm, I'm fighting the fight for do-it-yourself, pain-free solutions without medications, avoiding injections, and unwarranted surgeries. This is a revolution, guys. Whoever's with me, whoever's a physiotherapist on here, I want a thumbs up. Whoever's a patient, whoever's somebody in the medical field and believes in what I'm talking about, we need to stop big pharma from, from pumping doctors with these heavy, heavy pain pills. Anyway, Ari, going back to my man, Ari. Anyway, this guy was in crazy pain. He couldn't work. He couldn't sit. He couldn't sleep. Very high copay, $85, okay? He pays $3,000 a month for his Oxford insurance, and he has to pay $85. Thank you, William. $85 to come see me, okay? And I'm more than that. I cost more than that. So I did this guy a favor. I said, forget about it. Don't come see me. He said, what am I going to do? I said, meet me over Skype, okay? Let's do it over Skype. We did some text messaging. He told me his symptoms, just like I did with Day, that boxer. I told him what to do. He hit me up on PayPal. 
gave you a little bit of money. It wasn't as expensive as $275 consultation. He did not go to a doctor. He did not have to go to a doctor. There was no need for it. He did not have trauma. He did not fall from a ladder, God forbid. He did not have an accident. He did not have strain or anything, something that I would think there was traumatic happening there. This was a problem in his soft tissues and his nervous system was overworking and protecting that part of his body because he sits like this all day long. If you sit like this all day long for four years and you work out and you still build your muscles like that, you're gonna end up with, an, with not a pinched nerve, but the nerves in here are not gonna move around so much, okay? So what happened with him? It's very simply put, it's the same exercise, that second exercise I promised I'm gonna show you that I gave Day also, is that first rib mobilization. This rib over here, where that rib is and where the nerves come out, I gave him that exercise. And let me show you how I did it. So he pulls me up, I, I get him up on Skype, I show him what to do. This one over here is the first rib. Basically the first exercise I gave him was a McKenzie chin tuck, Robin McKenzie. I'm giving you props for this. Uh, this was the uh, most amazing physio physiotherapist in the world. Unfortunately he passed away, but he was a genius. And uh, he came up with this method called the McKenzie method. So I'm giving, I'm giving him uh, credit for this where credit is due. It's his system. And basically, we did some chin tucks, pressing all the way back. It's the first exercise I usually like to give somebody to see if they, it reduces or centralizes. It takes away the pressure on the brachial plexus and the facets or the joints of the neck. And it gave him some relief, but it didn't fix him. What really helped him was a second mobility exercise, and he was having it right here on the left side, just like Day, and this is called a first rib mobilization. And basically had him rotate his neck to the same side of the pain while bringing his shoulder across his body. By doing that, he was tweaking this area right over here. He was opening up the pressure in that area that was giving him pain in the upper trap. And those really two simple exercises, I gave you guys the radial nerve, the posterior radial nerve uh, mobilization over here and, and, and the first rib. Really simple stuff. Most physiotherapists don't treat like this. They really don't. Uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of them still are, are, are old school. The old school ones are still treating with hot packs and cold packs and stimulators. But you can find really good ones out there. Give me a thumbs up if you found a good physiotherapist or if you're a really great physiotherapist and you're, you're practicing an active approach to care where you're instructing and educating and advising as a trusted advisor to your patients about what they can do about their pain themselves, empowering people. 